think you're going, you son of a bitch. <laughs> hey, look over there. He's gotten crazy. That bastard couldn't even fend off my hits just then. But that posture looks him kind of looks similar though. Yo, Jump, that's a boxing posture, right? You're right. He must have followed that what Hyo Jung did a while ago. Look at him. And it's not completely correct either. Hmm? That? I'll go beat that fucker. Hey, wait a minute. This fucker will now be my person at ATM. Ha <laughs> ha. Ah, why can't he land a hit? Fucking useless. Fuck off, since he's not your match. Hey, did you hide your skills before? I don't know where you learned that, but tomorrow at 7, Hansung Gym. I'll be your Grim Reaper there. With rules set in place, we'll have a match fair and school. Okay? This is something even Muhammad Ali can't dodge. Huh? For a boxing champion to be hit like that, Come at me, you fucking bastards. Muhammad Ali, 1992 to 2016. The King of Boxing. Hello everyone, welcome to Webtoon Rant, and today I've got an awesome, awesome, awesome manhwa or webtoon called Death Boy, or Boy of Death. And essentially the premise is this. A boy loses his mom in a plane crash in an accident, and her mom dies, and he's left alone in the world, and he wants to die. He tries to commit suicide, doesn't succeed, and he's being bullied at school. And then a person, or rather a Green Reaper, approaches him and says, you know, let's make a deal. You can sell one year of your life for one card, and if you use one card, you will be able to use the power of someone who is dead for five, oh, not five, what am I saying, for an hour. And that is the premise. And the boy accepts the deal, and he first beats the crap out of these out of these ruffians with the power of Muhammad Ali, which I got chills from because Muhammad Ali, you know, the greatest of all times. He's a great boxer. He's a great human being as well, and a poet. But essentially, you know, that that's the entirety of the premise. You know, he's fighting people, and he brings up souls and to use their powers and stuff. It's really, really, really cool, and it's a really fun concept, and it's executed actually really quite well. And essentially, the storyline is he's trying to find the soul of his mother because he's, you know, he's just gonna commit suicide and meet his mother in hell or heaven or the, just the afterlife, whatever. But her, his mother is apparently still on Earth and, and as a ghost. And apparently, he needs to find someone who can see ghosts to kind of look for her, his mother. And he does find that girl. However, that girl is apparently being attacked by this organization called the Snakes, who apparently used the soul power thing as well, or something similar to it. And that's kind of where the plot gets thicker. And essentially, it's just about this boy fighting all of these bad guys, all of these bad guys that use soul powers with his own soul powers. Except his soul powers are kind of the best because that his is legit, while the other guys, they're using, you know, a backhole stealing powers from people. I'm not going to explain more. But anyways, it's just really, really cool how they do the concept, you know, you're fighting someone with a sword, you summon freaking like Masashi or some crap, you know, you're fighting, you're fighting like, you know, in the sea, you're, you summon Lee Sun Shin, which is a very famous Korean sea general, like, you know, again and again, like, you're summoning all of these different, different people's powers into you so you can use their powers. And it's like super, super cool. Again, this is a great example. And I really, really like the concept, and I, and I get chills every time because you know all these great, huge beings from, from you know the past, just you know using their powers. I think it's just a, such a cool concept, and it's executed. So like, look at this, like it looks awesome. It, it it really does look awesome. And again, I would highly recommend the series. I would rank this as a, as a B tier again. It has great action scenes, great characters, great fights. It has great girls. I know it, I great wife who's I know it's really important for you guys. And we got we got pretty good plot, really great concept, and executed really, really well. So that's my take on it. But again, it doesn't have an underlying really super ultimate supreme style of storytelling or something that impacted me a lot emotionally or in a deep way. It doesn't have any kind of philosophical 
like depth, I guess. I mean, there are some attempts at it, and it's done fairly well. I mean, it's a B tier, guys. That's pretty high. But, you know, it doesn't make it an A tier or S tier. Again, though, I do say this for every B tier. It could possibly be an A tier or S tier, for B tiers especially. It's just, um, you know, I need more time, and the series isn't done yet. So maybe once the series is over, you know, it might have the most intricate storytelling of all time that spans the entire thing, the big plan that I can't see right now. But, you know, for now, it's a B tier. I'd highly recommend, and like always, Webtoon Rant, done.